Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing good, having fun and staying safe. I know today's video is more exciting for you guys than for me because it's because of you all that I've bought all of these and I wanted to review them for you because you guys were so, so, so excited for me to try these on new ones. Exactly all of these that are there currently on Bath & Body Works website. So here I have almost, I think, four, five, six, seven of them. Um, the other one is Dark Kiss, which is an older one, but new for me. So I'm going Going to be reviewing all of them it's going to be a huge haul and all of the scents are totally new so if you're interested then let's get started and before that make sure that you subscribe to the channel in case if you like to see more such kind of videos from my end let's go so which one should i talk about the first this is very very exciting so firstly i'll just like to um, make sure that you all know that these three these are the new launches as you can see which is buttercup and berry bellini which i said i'll get this one is white tea and sage and this one is honeysuckle and peach spritz all of them three are from the same category of packaging the packaging is super super subtle but at the same time it has these little dots over here which is like you know that glitter spec something kind of uh, like that and then ombre effect going on in the bottle with the respective color theme which i really like the packaging is super super subtle but yet it's so artistic as you can see you know how beautifully the images are drawn with the respective packaging for each of these three first one that i'm going to be starting off with is something that i know a lot of you would be inclined towards buying which is buttercup and berry bellini so this one straight off it looks really pink it looks and it gives you a feeling that yes it's going to be something girly something feminine and of course the note mentions that it has um, strawberry puree buttercup flour and bubbly prosecco so of course the hero ingredient the star ingredient of this particular mist has to be strawberry puree and my experience with this one i received it in the evening and i was not at home so i just came back at night and i just happened to because i was so tired so i just did not open the package at first and by the way i got all of these three from mintra just in case if you don't know and i only got butterfly from that of bath and body works own website rest all of them are from mintra of course i understand i acknowledge that mintra adds in a lot of unnecessary tapings and stickers so i have removed them all because that is such a pet peeve for me i cannot tolerate those ugly looking stickers on my beautiful body mist anyway so yeah coming back to the scent of buttercup and berry bellini so i just came back home and it was midnight and then i was like not midnight i came back home earlier but then i was so tired so i did not open the package and then at midnight i was like i cannot wait any further so i just have to open them right now so i just opened them and all of these three were in the same package because i placed the order for them um, exactly on the same day so i happened to first try buttercup and berry bellini and my first opinions of sniffing this one was wow this is so strong so strong to the fact that it smelled exactly like some strawberries but it was so overwhelming for me for me you know i repeat myself i am a girly girl kind of uh, scent preference person mostly but i like to wear everything you know but mostly my inclination is towards those kind of scents and for me also it was a little bit overwhelming where i was like oh my god this is so strong but then when i just wore it the other day I felt it to be super subtle, I felt it to be super well blended and how it smells like, that is the biggest question. So it smells like strawberry but it also has some hints of, you know, some little bit creaminess in the background but actually it smells predominantly of some strawberries. It is very different from that of strawberry pound cake in, ca in case you're wondering because strawberry pound cake leans more towards the gourmand side of things. This one of course the strawberry when you sniff it it makes it feel a little bit edible but once you just apply it on yourself, on your clothes, on your body whatever the case may be for you then you don't feel that exact gourmandness going on in this particular scent so that is what I want to mention but otherwise I think this is such a great 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 launch because you don't really get to have a taste and feel of the raw fruits in a body mist so this one is a very authentic strawberry puree scent as they mentioned and it literally feels very luxurious not at all cheap not at all synthetic not at all plasticky in my opinion i really enjoy this and i wore this scent you know when i was wearing a pink dress and it just 
went with the vibe entirely so this is my opinion about this scent i think this is totally totally a hit in my opinion you can definitely definitely check this one out as of for the last thing i think um in the initial spray when you apply it you might feel that it is very overwhelming it's too loud it, it is maybe too much of course i being an over sprayer these are my opinions but then you just give it 5 10 minutes it just settle down to be very very beautiful subtle scent which of course will be able to smell people will be able to smell you and the lasting of this one is almost about you know 4 5 hours if you heavy spray you know if you're a heavy sprayer in my opinion because i spray my scents very very heavily very very heavy handed so that is the reason why they last me a lot longer they project even longer so i think that is what it is and overall if you are a girly girl if you like feminine scent if you like fruity scents even then this one would be a perfect match for you if you are perhaps uh, not sure whether you want to go for a gourmand thing or not then also you can get this one but otherwise i think if you are somebody who just does not care about this scent profile at all then you can definitely skip this one for me this was unskippable and i'm so so happy that i picked this one up this is a limited edition so in case if you want to try your hands on this you can definitely get it this is definitely not a complex scent i feel this is more linear of course as i mentioned the initial sniff makes might make you feel that this is a little bit overwhelming and too strong for your liking and you might not want to wear this in public but then of course uh, just wait for a while hold on this settles down into a very very subtle scent which is too 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 wearable and this is not at all an obvious gourmand in my opinion just like strawberry pound cake so yeah with that being said I think this is a great 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 scent to wear and you can just wear it on an everyday basis because this is not so overpowering. These are of course strong enough to last you well but then not strong enough to kind of uh, trigger the headache. Going on to the next scent, I would like to talk to you about white tea and sage which I was not sure about and to be honest now that I think about it I'm like why did I even pick this one up but I think I I just wanted to review the complete range for you and I respected the fact that all of you wanted me to try this range before you actually um went ahead and purchased this one so I thought let me just not miss any of these miss from this collection to be very honest I have not got a chance to kind of wear this one and test this one on myself because the others were more interesting for me to kind of wear and even for my brother because i showed him all of these and i asked him for his opinions also before coming here and giving my opinions so he was also not so so pleased with this one but then in my opinion if i have to sum up i think this is a very fresh scent but fresh bergamot scent because the keynote in here is bergamot and it gives you feeling as you if you are out from a you know like spa session or something like that which could be very relaxing very fresh at the same time but i really don't know how much would i be able to wear this one or how much good use i could get from this one because in my opinion if i would have smelled this particular one in the store i might have skipped on this one but now that i have it of course i'll use it but then I think you can easily skip on this particular scent. Of course, this is a good scent. I won't say it's a bad scent. It smells. I don't know why Bath and Body Works have that luxurious element to all of their body body mists, and this one is no different from them. But at the same time, I feel there is not something uh, that I like in this particular mist. Of course, if you are a person who loves to smell only fresh and clean, and fresh and clean vibes are something that you look for in your body mist, then of course you can go for this one. But for me. as of now i am not so much into those fresh and clean vibes of course i like them for sure they are you know always a safe player safe uh, choice in terms of where, wherever you're going in uh, summer days but for me i think this one is not working right now maybe because we're moving into cooler months so it doesn't really make sense to me at all as of now but yes of course maybe i can get good use out of it in the summer months and as for the notes this has um sparkling bergamot white tea and fresh sage i really like scents with white tea but i just not really able i am able to detect that tea probably all of the notes in here that are mentioned here at the back of the bottle are very 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 well blended and uh, that is what it is but then again it gives you a very good feeling as if you're fresh out of the shower so if that is something that interests you then you can definitely get this one and also i don't know how to put this but apart from being fresh this also gives you a feeling of uh, feeling cool you know like in summers when we used to apply dermicool nicile and all of these talc powders used to give you a feeling of 
like as if you just have some ice cold thing applied on your body and it, how it smells like this is what it it smells like to me like it has special vibes but it definitely also gives me the vibe of some like cooler kind of a scent if that makes sense i hope you're able to understand with the references that i gave so this is the second one i think you can definitely skip this one unless you're really into like those nice clean and fresh scents then you can of course go ahead and get this one and this is not a bad scent but i think as of now it doesn't really make sense to me and there are better ones in the collection so that is why the next one that i am going to be showing is probably the most favorite one but at the same time before i start explaining about the scent this was the scent that i was most skeptical about buying i'm talking about honeysuckle and peach spritz and the reason for that was because of course i saw peach and i was like wow i really love peach scent and they are such a delight to wear you know for your own self for everybody who is going to smell you because peach is such a very happy bubbly beautiful note in scents i feel and this of course has peach as the hero ingredient so this would not be a disappointment for me but the whole point of why i was contemplating so much even in my reel video i said that this looks interesting but i might or might not get it because this has honey note and honey and i are really not going along too well in terms of scents because i had my one encounter with a honey vanilla honey scent that was from forest essentials body mist and it was so 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 pathetic to the point that i had to take a shower again after applying that scent it was so pathetic it was such a bad experience for me and ever since that i just just despise honey note you know in all of my scents if i see a scent would have honey then i might have to double check triple check before actually investing into that scent and when with this one also it mentioned um the notes of honeysuckle bloom juicy peaches and orange zest and I was a big fan of orange but if a scent has too 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 much of an orange scent then I feel for me I just kind of I'm not really able to smell other scents and I only get the orange out of it so that was also a no no for me before buying this one but then I was like bro I just have to give you a review so I must get and try this one so what I did was I just placed the order and To my surprise this is such a fresh peach scent you smell like you know when you just sniff from this particular bottle apply it on your body apply it on yourself this just feels like a true authentic fresh garden peach you know which smells so raw it smells so like fruity but very very well blended very very i won't say mild i won't say loud it is somewhere in between but you know i just get that actual fruity effect of a real peach and that to me is so surreal because i i really cannot think how can they do it because you know it actually smells like a real peach fruit so if at all i just spray it in a room and i call people to come in that room and sniff the room then they would definitely get a vibe that somebody has actually eaten a peach fruit in that particular room this is how beautiful it smells like and i am very happy to report that the orange in this one is at the back road you know it's not so so much in the front so you're not really able to detect that orange but probably peaches and orange are very well blended in this scent as well but the hero ingredient the hero note has to be the raw peach that i smell in this particular one and it it actually feels so so amazing for the person who has applied this it's a delight for them for the person who is smelling the person using this particular one this again is a delight for them with the honeysuckle in this it actually uplifts the fragrance to another level and it just saves it from being just a normal peach scent along with the orange and honeysuckle but i think this has to be hands down my most favorite scent out of this whole haul and this is very authentic and raw as i said and it's so 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 damn lovely so a story with this one when i got all of these because it was a little overwhelming for me to kind of smell them all and find my opinions on the first day so i just called in my brother for help the other day as i mentioned Uh, because i did all of these things in the midnight so i just asked his opinions in the morning and i was like can you just smell all of these for this one he said it's a pass he did not like it he did not want to even spray this one no i just showed him this because i really like buttercup and berry bellini and i just showed him this but then of course this is so feminine so girly so he was not really interested and then i showed him this honeysuckle and peach spritz and he did not apply this either so he just sniffed it from the bottle straight 
and then he just he just got mad he was like can i please apply it on my clothes and i was like okay you can do it and then he just applied it just for testing then he just went for bathing and whatever he might have had good experiences with uh, smell, uh, sniffing this scent so what he did he just had to go out to run some errands and he just changed into bathe and change into his normal professional clothes if i may say so like better clothes than that of uh, just home clothes so he just took this scent again and he just applied it all over his body and i could smell this scent even better and i could feel more better about him about me about the scent in general you know the whole aroma the whole vibe of this scent was so 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 beautiful as i mentioned this is such a happy and you know very uplifting scent in my opinion but usually the uplifting scents are a little bit generic but this one is very very hot key in my opinion and that is what was the experience of my brother with this one then he just came back home i was still able to smell him and i just gave him a pro tip that if you want these body mist to kind of project and last well on you then you might as well just apply and drench too too much so if you just going to apply like four sprays five sprays six, six sprays even and expect this to last too long expect you to get compliments from other people then i'm sorry to break this myth for you this is not going to happen for something like this you know this bath and body works or body mist concentration thing to actually be able to get you compliments and good projection and all of those good things that come around wearing the scent you must drench yourself so that is what he did he applied it on your he is a person who likes to apply scents on his skin than on his clothes for me i am a complete different i usually prefer to apply scents on my clothes than on my body but anyway that being um, aside he just came back home i was still able to smell him and uh, his work was around 3 4 hours after he came back and he reported to me that even when he was sitting at his friend's place he was still able to get the sniffs out of this particular scent and that is what made me made him realize that how much actually he liked this particular scent and then again he wanted to go to the gym in the evening along with me so it was around 6:30ish if i'm not wrong and then he again asked me he just said where is that particular body mist and probably i was just keeping keeping all of them together in that cupboard because i wanted to actually film a review for you guys so i just wanted to have them at a particular place safe and secure so he just asked me where that mist is and i was like it's in my wardrobe so he said can you keep it in my room because i just want to use this every day and i was like wow just in a matter of 5 6 hours you are in love with this scent so this is what it does to you this is the vibe of this particular scent and i think hands down this is the best purchase from bath and body works in this particular haul in case if i did not mention this already and uh, yeah he just went to the gym and i was sitting behind him when we were going to the gym and i could also feel the beautiful aroma of this scent how projective it was and you know you you uh, tmi but usually men tend to smell a little bit bad in the gym you know because of all that sweat and thing going on and when we were coming back then also i was sitting at his back and then also i was just getting whiffs of his beautiful peachy scent and that is when i realized this is such a strong scent it might feel a little lighter as if you know it it might not perform so good but trust me on this if you over spray you know if you literally drench yourself enough adequate more than enough whatever then of course it is not going to disappoint you and this is such a beautiful scent so i think this one in my opinion is totally worth it you have to be a fan of peachy notes for you to be able to love this and i think i would definitely recommend this particular scent enough of talking about this scent let's move on to the next one okay so finally we are going to be talking about this one which is butterfly but let's just discuss a little bit about the packaging this has this beautiful lavender color theme going on with a butterfly actually imprinted on this beautiful bottle it's literally a piece of art and i feel this is so 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 beautiful it's such a stunning simplistic packaging which just gives you a feeling that wow this is such a piece of art and i really love butterflies for some reason and i don't really know any person who doesn't as was something which was again highly requested on my channel a lot of you wanted me to review this one and finally i am going to be sharing my thoughts but let's just first go in and read the notes on this particular butterfly mist so the note says it has raspberry nectar iris petal and airy vanilla so when i just made the reel short then also i mentioned that i really really love a raspberry note but a little surprise to report that the raspberry note in here is not dominant so this is not a very fruity scent in my opinion 
This I would say is a rather a little bit of creamy floral in my opinion and this has iris petals and airy vanilla. The vanilla also isn't too too loud in this probably the creaminess you know the creamy floral as I mentioned and described this scent. So the creaminess is coming from vanilla there would be a little bit tinge because of raspberry but that isn't a too too prominent fruity note in this one which I'm really thankful about because I already have a lot of fruity scents this one is also kind of a fruitier scent which I have and now I don't know why my collection is moving more towards being on the fruitier side so I'm really happy that I got this one and uh, as of for the scent in the beginning it might seem a little lighter because I don't know why with all of these in the initial sniff they just felt a little bit lighter to me for some reason so this felt a little bit lighter as if it was a weak performer and it's not going to perform well but this does perform well anyway I'm going to go back like come back to that but yes it is very airy in my opinion but very 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 beautiful and pleasant scent pleasant is the right word to explain this scent this has slight hints of sweetness with a little bit of vanilla as I said which gives it a creamy aspect a little bit of creamy aspect and to be very honest I don't know why whenever I sniff this one it just gives me a feeling of luxury and probably the reason because I was just thinking to myself why what is so special about this scent that why do I get the feeling of this being a super luxurious scent and the reason for that is because it has iris and to be very honest I'm very happy to please to report that most of my expensive designer perfumes you know from big brands like Lancome, La Vie Belle and all of those that I own as of now most of them have the hero ingredient as iris right so that was actually a very very uh, hot kind of a note back then like two three years ago and this note is being incorporated super super well in this particular one and that is the reason why maybe my mind goes back to thinking that this is a luxurious scent because most of my luxurious expensive perfumes have iris note and this one is also iris like it has an iris note in here as well so that is the reason why I just can't stop but you know keep on thinking to myself that it smells something expensive and luxurious and out of the all that I'm going to, uh, about to be showing you so this one was the favorite the standing out one for my brother and after that the one he really really enjoyed and literally asked me to give it to him was butterfly I oversprayed and it was projective to the point that the trainer actually asked me and that is so rare usually people feel that with body mist you really cannot get compliments body mists are only for your own self body mists do not really perform like perfume they can of course if you overspray that is your intent if you overspray that is gonna happen all of these good things are gonna come to you and that is my pro tip please mark my words usually earlier when I got uh, very very recently into Bath & Body Works I used to spray maximum of five six sprays on myself and I hardly ever used to get a compliment on them but ever since the time that I have started to actually overspray myself with the scent when I'm going out, then of course I get a lot of compliments. But having said that, it wouldn't last you more than 4-5 hours to be realistic and honest. But then again, you get the compliments and you get the like literally the work done. So that is what it is and that is what counts. And I feel this one is a very luxurious scent that everybody would like to smell on you. You would like to smell on yourself. Of course this has a little bit of creaminess which is so rare to find in a kind of body mist because usually there are some expensive designer perfumes that are into making creamier scents but this one is a creamy scent in my opinion and I feel I really 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 like this one. This is not something to be very honest that I would say it's very hutke, it's very different, it's very unique. Um, but this isn't generic too. This is somewhere in between but I think it's an enjoyable scent. And it's a safe blind buy. It's literally a safe blind buy because it's not too fruity, it's not too creamy, it's not too much of anything. It's just a little bit of luxury and just a little bit of pleasantness from the scent and that's about it. And that is Butterfly for you guys. I 1000% recommend Butterfly. Gingham Love. This one is also, I don't know why, what is the reason why this has become super super popular. This has been advertised everywhere. Whenever you just go and check Bath & Body Works Instagram page, Gingham Love is always there. I don't know why, maybe people seem to have liked this one a lot or Gingham is the one which is super super popular. So Gingham Love has to be another popular one. I don't know whatever the reason is. By the way, I can still smell the peach, peachiness note 
from my arm as I did this and I really love it. Anyway, <laughs> with that being said, let's talk about Gingham Love. So this is how it looks like. It is such a pretty, pretty packaging. I really like it. And this would be perfect to kind of give somebody on the Valentine's Day. And this literally smells like that. Valentine's Day in a bottle. Very, very shallow explanation, but let's read on the notes before I start to explain you my experience with this one. So this says sugared red berries. I love berries. Blushing Phrygia Rose Meringue. I love rose. I love berries. You all know already. And this one is, of course, a girly scent in my opinion, but it's not super juvenile. As I was saying, this is a very sweet feminine scent. Sweet is also the right word for this one. This is sweet, fruity and feminine scent. And uh, this has a fruity punch to it also. And this might seem sharp in the beginning but it's very very well blended so it is well blended but it might seem a little bit sharp in the beginning but when you just apply it on yourself the sharpness just goes away and you find that very well blended kind of a sweet fruity concoction which is a very very popular uh, scent theme i would say you know sweet fruity scents are all over the place right now but this one of course is not as sharp and this is really it feels like a high-end perfume and this one i'm very pleased to report that this is the perfect dupe to that of very expensive mugglers angel nova this is exactly like that scent minus the sharpness this one is a little less sharp than that of uh, the original and next video probably i'm going to be sharing with you the dupes like literally dupes of expensive perfumes from that of bath and body works and I also found a dupe for this one. Anyway, if you're interested, I'm going to be posting it in my next particular video, hopefully. So yeah, this is what about uh, Gingham Love. And I feel this is really good scent. But then, of course, this is a fruity floral combination. And that is so, so common. So I did not feel super nice when I got this because I was like, oh shit, I already have something of this profile. And I literally have a lot of these kind of scents in my particular collection you know here and there and growing up also I was always into this fruity and you know sweet combination of scents but then again I, I forced my brother to kind of wear this scent you know for me because I just wanted to have like literally have an experience of sniffing this on somebody else than on myself so he just applied this and I was like I literally could not stop myself from complimenting me complimenting him time and again I was like wow you literally smell so good and it was smelling so 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 good on him so i think this is the kind of scent that is a happy scent that if you sniff it on somebody else or on yourself this is going to make your mood very light very happy because this is the kind of thing that a scent does to you and specifically this kind of a fruity and sweet combination it literally uplifts your mood in that very beautiful scent where you feel like just complimenting the person incessantly so that is what happens with this particular scent and i think i i can actually get a good use out of this one and this one would be perfect for layering also so if you feel that this is too fruity for you and you don't really want to wear it just like that you can also layer it with a vanilla scent and it's gonna be a heaven match made in heaven anyway with that being said i think this is such a good scent and this also has this is really strong in my opinion and this has really good lasting like literally it would last you for four or five hours and with great amount of projection if you overspray. With that being said, I am down to the second last one, which is Dark Kiss. This is very, 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 very old body mist from them. Ever since the beginning, this has been there in their base collection. And I happened to get my hands on this one because I was scared. I was like, maybe if they just remove it and I wouldn't have got a chance to kind of try it ever. That would be such a shame. So I thought I just have to get it. And I get, got it from uh, you know way back you know even before I got all of these up but then I thought this is a haul video so it makes sense to kind of show you this one because I never had actually got a chance to show this one to you and talk about this one and you can see the ugliness here that is because of the Mintra sticker which I wasn't unable to uh, remove huh. but anyway this is a dark case from Bath and Body Works the notes mentioned this has black raspberry burgundy rose dark vanilla bean all of these three notes are something that I really, 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 really love, like and whatever. And I feel that is something which is there with the scent. This is such a deep, dark rose with raspberry. Like the fruitiness is not so, so much 
like sharp or pungent or whatever you know it's it's completely different from this one that is what i want to mention this is such a nighttime dark seductive sexy rose like if you imagine how a very dark maroon rose or even a black rose would smell like this is what it would be and i think this is such a sexy grown up girl who just knows you know how much to kind of share and you know uh when to say no when to say yes etc you literally know what to say at what time this is the kind of uh, girl or a lady or a woman i would imagine wearing this scent to be this is a little bit borderline i feel boss vibes to me and very very like epitome of a sexy scent i feel if you're on the lookout for a sexy scent then this one would be it and this literally is very very pleasing to kind of wear and this also my brother's brother likes though i feel that it leans more towards feminine side and a sexy girl but i still feel that he likes to wear this one and i feel mostly you know it's we who just kind of imagine in our own heads that this kind of a scent profile is better suited for this kind of a section of people but otherwise if it smells good it smells good and that's undeniably true then anybody could wear it right so that is what it is ha oh, it smells very very good and i think this is such a great investment in my opinion this is strong this is sexy this is feminine this is all of it that you could imagine and i feel this is the one that you should not skip but don't really get it in these you know like pathetic sales of 849 and stuff like that just get it when it just comes down to i think 549 or maybe 600 wali sale 599 whatever then also you can get this one hopefully this will be available this will be continued by them for a longer time because this is genuinely a hit and people still love this and this is such a good scent in my opinion also i'm tired but anyway the last one is bahamas passion fruit and banana flower this one i was super excited to get because this is such a tropical one and i once saw a reel which really had hit and still have a place in my mind you know even today i just saw a girl showing five of her scents which were man killers or something like that in the reel and there she showed bahamas passion fruit and banana flower and her mist was down till here and she was like this mist has never failed to get me compliments from men and i was like what is it about this scent and at that particular point in time it was not available in bath and body works but now that it is so i thought i am not going to be missing a chance based on the video that i saw of that a uh, girl and it was an instagram reel i was really intrigued by her comment on this particular one and ever since that time i was you know very determined that i am definitely going to get bahama passion fruit and banana flower no matter koi kuch bhi bole i am definitely going to get this one and when i got this one I was super happy with my purchase because this is again a very very like tropical scent a happy scent in my opinion and it literally smells a little bit a hint of bananas which is very absurd like who would want to smell like a banana but it does and it is blended with the other notes as well which just makes it super super pleasant and kind of beautiful to smell on yourself and on others and uh, yeah i think the notes of this one they are not mentioned but i would make sure to kind of link the notes somewhere i think this is such a tropical scent this is it's not sweet i would say but it has that little bit of punch to it a good vibe to it and it smells deep down low key of banana but i feel this is different from that of others that i already have from bath and body works but i necessarily feel that This isn't too too different for me to kind of uh, go ahead that extra mile and try it. Like it's a good scent if you are a beginner and you want to have a good scent in your collection. You can definitely try this one, but if you are already having a huge amount of collection and you want to try and invest in something different, then this might not be it for you. I really have not got a, lo a lot of chances to kind of wear this one because you know, I whenever I mostly think of wearing this, I just feel it's inappropriate like if i go to the gym wearing this i feel it's inappropriate though i'm not that kind of a person who would uh, restrict myself from wearing a particular scent so i might as well just wear it you know to office to gym etc and then i will be reporting my experiences then but as of now i really don't have a lot of good memories with this one because i sadly did not wear it i just wore it once or twice just sitting at my house so nobody complimented me on that so i really don't have any stories as of now but if at all i will have some stories i will share it with you lastly i would like to rank all of these for you so i think um it has to be self 
explanatory only and i was too too obvious when i was just giving the descriptions also because that is the kind of person i am sometimes you know i feel that i'm very unpredictable but seems like i am very predictable whatever the number one has to be of course honeysuckle and peach spritz i would 100% recommend you to just go and get this one you can skip all of the other ones from the collection of course i already told you this could also be suitable for you so and so you can just check the video whatever i said you know in the beginning of the video but i think this one is unskippable you should definitely give this one a try this is something different and i am very 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 sure of the fact that you would not have something like this in your collection as yet and you could also layer this one with a good vanilla scent to make it more creamy and just like a very cute good honey peach pie right and that would be great for winters also so this has to be my number one pick and if i have to choose a number two spot then i think it would be a tie between butterfly and dark kiss simply because dark kiss is something which just suits my profile because it has berries it has rose and a rose which is very very dark and butterfly simply because of the reason that is so 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 expensive like feels so expensive feels so luxurious feels so good and i feel this is a value for money you can definitely try this one and it is not going to be disappointing and you are definitely going to get compliments for this one also and yeah with that being said i am done with my video and these are my top two or top three essentially and uh, that is it i hope you like this video if you genuinely did like this video then do not forget to leave me a beautiful like beautiful comment and do not forget to subscribe to my channel i shall see you in my next video bye